Hello, my Tubies and my Teletubbies. It's a fine Friday evening. And I found this article that I was reading by Elizabeth Ann Andel. And I feel that it's important for me to share this with my Tubies. This is uh, an article about things narcissists don't do. And we're going to look at this from a psychological perspective. Because there are several characteristics that define a narcissistic person. They are extremely egotistical with an exaggerated sense of self-importance and they have fantasies of unlimited success and brilliance. They expect special treatment. They like to exploit other people. They lack empathy. They are filled with envy and they expect people to envy them because we know that they are extremely arrogant. Now, here are some things that narcissists don't do. They don't show their true selves. Narcissists are manipulative, so of course they won't show you who they really are when you first meet them. They lure you into believing that they are someone completely different, maybe someone sweet and kind. You won't find out their true personality until it's too late. Another thing they don't do, they don't incorporate security into relationships. Narcissists tend to keep you on your toes. The last thing they want is for you to feel safe and secure in your relationship. This gives them pleasure to be above you in every way. And when you feel insecure, it makes them feel very secure. Next, they never allow you to see them as the bad guy. In a narcissist's mind, they can never be the bad guy and they make sure you know it too. No matter what the situation is, the blame will ultimately always fall on you. And this makes you feel bad. It makes you feel like you're such a terrible person. Guess what? They don't care. You feeling bad about yourself is exactly what they want. They don't like control, losing control. This is something else a narcissist would never do. Narcissists, as we know, they are control freaks and losing control makes them extremely upset and angry. They need to have control of people and their surroundings. It gives them a sense of security and knowing that you will do whatever they ask you to do without asking any questions. Moving on, they won't let people prove them wrong. They don't like it when people prove them wrong. A narcissist will argue that black is white until even you start to believe it. <laughs> this is crazy. This is one of the biggest traps to fall in when you are around a narcissist. Arguing with, with them is a waste of time and it's a waste of your energy and it's a waste of your effort. Their manipulative nature will cause you to start doubting yourself. And guess what? Soon you start believing them if you're weak minded. Also, they don't see others as equals. I know my ex nor could never feel this way. He was like, what? Please. Anyway, narcissists believe that they are on top of the world. They don't believe anyone is on the same level as that. Well, my ex nor must have known he was below everybody's level. So this is, that's comedy for me. But anyway, if you try and associate yourself with them as an equal, then they will do everything in your power and in their power, better yet, not your power, but they'll do everything in their power to try to bring you down so that they are on top once again. We also know next that narcissists, they never have sympathy or empathy for that matter. These are the kinds of people who laugh while everyone else is crying at a sad movie. Everyone's sitting here looking at a sad movie, crying and getting emotional, not the narc. They're sitting up there laughing their head off. <laughs> How strange is that? They don't really care that your mother just went through a divorce or your parents just died. They don't care about your feelings and they're tired of hearing about your recent breakup or your loss of a job. If it doesn't concern them, them they don't want to be bothered with it. Next, they don't do anything that doesn't benefit them. They didn't buy you dinner out of the kindness of their heart. You could trust and believe that. 
they're probably going to ask you for a world of favors afterwards. Narcissists don't do anything without a purpose to benefit themselves. Giving a narcissist what they want is the very last thing that you want to do. I want to repeat that. Don't ever constantly give them what they want. Now, next, my darlings, they don't try to reason with you. Don't try to reason with the narcissist. They're e egotistical people. And when you try to reason with them, this only gets them more and more infuriated and angry. When they're proven wrong, that's a big hit, a big blow to their self-esteem. So don't be surprised if later on their plotting and scheme is some type of revenge on you. They don't like to admit they have feelings. Narcissists, like everyone else, they do have feelings, like everyone else. They undoubtedly feel emotions, though, differently than other people. And a narcissist, you will hear them say, I don't have feelings. This is, of course, an excuse for all the horrible things they can sometimes do. They use the pretense of not knowing how emotions work so that they can get away with anything without people thinking badly of them. Another thing they don't do, they don't listen. They don't listen. They just wait for you to shut up so they can say what's on their mind. They really don't care about what you have to say. All they're concerned about is your willingness to listen to them rant on and on and on. Next, my tubies, they don't stick around, not unless there's something in it for them. If you're starting to bore them in, in, a, in let's say, in a friendship or in the relationship and you're boring them, you can expect this narcissist to pack up and leave. So how's that? That's cool. That's one way of getting rid of them. Just bore the tears out of them. <laughs> they always want attention. And if you aren't giving them what they want, then don't expect for them to stick around. Well, at least we know how to get rid of them. They don't pick unattractive friends. Think about that. Narcissists don't do anything that doesn't benefit them. Picking friends is one of those examples. They surround themselves with attractive and upper class people making them feel more superior and invincible. At least that's what they want to do. My narc, he surrounds himself with low-life bums and people from the city mission and the Bowery and, oh God, the females that he associates with. Oh, it's sad. It's just totally sad. Anyway, it will be rare to find a narcissist surrounded with an unattractive, undesirable crowd. You notice they said it will be rare, but it does happen. Because that's my narc. He could never surround himself with winners or people who are attractive. That's just not going to happen. Not for him anyway. <laughs> Think about this. They also don't like to give compliments. Narcissists always want to be complimented, but they feel they don't have to make people feel good about themselves because it's not their job to do so. You'd be lucky to get a compliment from a narcissist. And even if you do, you can trust and believe they have a hidden agenda. You have reasons to be suspicious. When they start complimenting you, yeah, your red flag should come up. They don't like to be polite. Okay? At the best of times, a narcissist, because they feel so superior, they feel that they are exempt from the rules that the rest of society has to follow. No matter how tempting it is, they will not allow you to disrespect them because they are definitely not going to be the type who turns the other cheek. Trust and believe that. So in closing, my darlings, these are things that narcissists will not do. And these are identifying marks that you are involved with a narc. And what you need to do is get out early. Actually, you need to start getting out when you see them starting to de devalue you. Because you know in the, in the beginning, it comes love bombing and blah, 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 blah. But the moment, the moment they start that devaluing, that's when it's time for you to start uh, getting your order of protection in order and uh, start setting things up so you can get him or her out of your life, out of your house. This is Sheila True Love. Always loving you, as always, my dolls. You always have a choice. Until next time, 
Bye for now.